So we lived in a house for years. We've never really been, been without. Um, there was just a point um, at time in my life about four and a half years ago where um, due to some decisions in life, I lost everything. I had nothing. So I had, we had the clothes on our back and that's all we had. You feel helpless, you feel worthless. I mean, you feel like you're at your rock bottom, like you have nothing. Imagine walking in somewhere and sitting on the floor or you're laying on the floor going to sleep. When you go into a kitchen, you don't have a can opener, what are you gonna do? Like seriously, and you only have a few cans of food? It's the worst feeling ever, especially when you have um, kids. What can you do? You have nothing, how are you gonna get back on your feet? There is no home in an empty house. It doesn't matter where you are, you need to have that that makes you feel home. In Portland, we have uh, some values of community. We are constantly talking about self-sufficiency for the members of our community. Here at Community Warehouse, we have found a way to, in a concrete way, eliminate a roadblock to self-sufficiency and happiness. Community Warehouse is a non-for-profit organization. We are the only furniture bank in the area. We provide furniture and household goods to families that need them. So I went down there and they had almost everything that I, that I needed. From the can openers to the knives to all the little utensils, utensils that you might not think of, they had. And we were able to bring the table in and we were able to sit and we were able to smile. It was amazing. It felt really, I just, I couldn't ask for it. I was so thankful, so thankful. What's powerful about Mandy's story is that it demonstrates how critical it is to help individuals and families to break the barriers to self-sufficiency. We were able to provide her with the tools to create a home and now she can focus on education and work. It was about a year later that I was really back on my feet um, and I was able to actually donate almost everything that I had gotten to other families. This is the magical thing about Community Warehouse. We witness stories of hope and new beginnings. Today, I'm a fully licensed cosmetologist. We have, our, we have our own place, and with patience and with hard work, it pays off. We are a very lean organization that works very hard. Every dollar that is donated is linked to our mission. Last year, we served over 7,000 people. 48% of them were children. Everyone could be part of the magic of Community Warehouse. You could do it by donating furniture, you could do it by donating cash. We need it to support our staff and our operations. You could do it by volunteers. We need volunteers all the time. And you could do it by uh, spreading the news that we are here and be an ambassador of our work. The Community Warehouse helped me to rebuild everything because I had nothing. They were there for me in a time of need when a lot of people weren't or a lot of agencies couldn't help me to provide what, what they could. <laughs>